Hello, this is a new video on my home stuff playlist. I have a question. How many of you use clothes dryer and why? Write your answers down in the comments so we can look at the statistics. Those who don't use it, write down why not. Right now I've been using dryer for more than a year and I'm very pleased with it. Until then, clothes were dried either in a room on a clothes rack or in good weather outside on a laundry line. So another question. How many of you know where Latvia is located at without looking at Google Maps? Here we have four seasons. That's why drying clothes outside is not always possible and then you have to torture yourself in the room. But in autumn, when humidity is already high, drying is not the best thing you should do in a room. Also, hanging clothes and then picking them up takes up some time that we could use to do other useful things, like watching TV. That's why after changing my living place, I bought my first dryer. I bought separate dryer because it is financially advantageous more models, and while one stack is washing, the other one can dry at the same time. Of course, you can buy two in one if you have limited space, but it will be 20 or 30% more expensive for the same performance. Everything is very simple. When clothes are done washing, put them in a dryer. If dryer is right next to the washer, then again it's very simple. But if it's another room, then ask laundry basket for help. When everything is in dryer, Close the door and turn it on. I use the longest mode because then clothes are so dry and hot that you want to wear them on the first winter evening. Of course there are 16 modes in total for all life situations, but I use only one. Push play to start drying. My backup dryer is louder than my washing machine. Loudest thing in washing machine is centrifuge, but it only works for a short time period. Main thing is to choose heat pump tumble dryer, because it will use two times less electricity and won't create unnecessary humidity in the room. But heat pump tumble dry will dry clothes 10-15% longer compared to the condenser tumble dryer. As you can see, the consumption doesn't go higher than 500 watts, that's very nice. Also, I'm very pleased that the mode's time automatically changes depending on the remaining moisture in the clothes. If you remember, the program's time was 3 hours and 5 minutes. But in the end, the clothes were dried in 2 hours and 6 minutes, which is 30% faster. I have to mention that I was drying cotton towels and bed covers that are one of the dampest things that can be dried. My dryer doesn't have automatic filter cleaning. That's why after every or every second drying session I have to clean it. Nothing complicated, but still very important. It's very nice that everything gets caught in a filter and doesn't get into the room. This backup dryer has two filters. Second filter gets cleaned rarely and I clean it with a vacuum cleaner. Now I will show you how it looks constructively. Last thing you should do is pour out accumulated water. Of course, to avoid this you can connect dryer to the drainage. But because we use this water to water flowers, we don't simply pour it out. In the end, this 2 hour and 6 minute cycle used exactly 1 kilowatt hour of electro energy. And that is very, very nice. Summary after 1 year of using this dryer. I have no regrets buying this dryer. Separately, dryer with heat pump technology costs starting from $350 to a couple of thousand dollars. Depends on how many extras it has. I am very pleased that I don't have to hang clothes somewhere and wait until they dry out. Now I just wait for cycle to end and just throw everything into the closet. Also, I started to lose less socks. Finally, the fluff filter is also a good thing because rooms clearly have less dust in them. The drawbacks of the dryer could be the loud noise because you can't really sleep while it's on. Of course, it would be cool to have filters clean themselves, but it's only available for two times more expensive models. Another drawback would be the price, because you have to actually buy it compared to the free laundry line. Also, there are some legends lurking around that dryers wear out clothes faster, because they live twice as long on a rotating drum. I'll write down in the comments your experiences, tips and advices for those who want to buy a dryer for themselves. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so we can meet in another home stuff video. Ciao.